Hello my favorite art students. This week's lesson we're going to learn a little bit more about symmetry. Uh, symmetry, as you may remember, is basically when you are able to divide something in equal parts and one half pretty much mirrors the other half. So it's kind of like the same on both sides is a nice way to, to think about it. Um, <clears throat> this little guy is included in your packet, which is attached to the Google Classrooms. If you are able to print it out or you can just create something like this all on your own, that's totally fine. But I <clears throat> told you in my video, my video before this, that I was gonna show you an example of how to do that. So this is my example, right? So before it just showed this half of this little guy, I took my pencil and I created the other symmetrical piece. So the other side of him. And you can also look at the little example here. It kind of shows you what it's basically supposed to look like at the end. Um, I can also add more details, right? We could add some crazy teeth. We could add some eyebrows and make him uh, a little bit crazier, add some more symmetry, we can color him. But that's all I'm gonna show you about this week's uh, homework from the packet. Um, there's some other examples of symmetry to practice as well. All right, let's move this one off to the side here. Um, I'm still outside in my beautiful backyard. I showed you an example of symmetry in nature. So I did a couple quick sketches of some symmetry in nature. Um, my leaf, right? I just sketched my leaf and I found another leaf um, and to show that I understand symmetry. So this is another choice. You can find something outside, something symmetrical, and create a sketch or a drawing of that object found in nature. You can also, hey, why not just go around the house, you know? I found my... Uh, that my uh, cool sunglasses, they're pretty symmetrical, right? I could draw some sunglasses. They're pretty symmetrical. If I were to draw a line right down the middle here, this side is pretty much exactly the same as that side. Cool, right? Okay, now the other option I have for you, which is super cool, and some of you might remember this, um, this art uh, example from last year. It's a great way to show symmetry, and I'm going to show you two ways on how to create a symmetrical drawing. Um, this is going to be using your name. So I just have my regular piece of paper here. I'm going to fold it hot dog, which is like lengthwise or taco fold, we call it sometimes in class. I'm just going to fold it in half, okay? Now, I want you to notice the fold here, okay? So you're going to want the fold facing you. <clears throat> when you write your name, because you're gonna be writing your name on this bottom line, okay? So I'm gonna put my piece of paper like this. The fold is here, and I'm going to write my name in pencil. I'm going to uh, draw lightly first, just in case I mess up, I can erase. Draw light until you know it's right. Now, if you know how to draw in, if you know how to write your name in cursive, this is super cool to do it like that but you can also just print your name I am just going to print my name if you have a big brother or big sister who can help you uh, write it in cursive that's super cool have them help you out but the only real rule we have here is you want to make it big so you're going to write your name right you're going to write your name big so you're going to try to fill up this whole space with your name even if your name is short right try to make it big and your letters have to touch this bottom fold right the letters are going to touch that bottom line that bottom fold now if you have a letter that is like a j that goes uh, down below the line just draw it so a little bit higher so it touches the line so you're not going to have any letter parts going down below now some of you already know but my first name is rebecca and it's kind of a long name 
and I don't have any letters that go with below the line, so it's going to be kind of easy peasy for me. So I'm going to write my name in print. That means just normal, right? I'm not going to write it in cursive, but I'm going to write it big. And I'm drawing a little bit darker than you should probably the first time just so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm hitting the bottom line here. I'm going to have my letters be kind of close together. And they're going to hit the bottom line. You can also have uh, your mom or dad help you out with this, or grandma or big sister, or big brother, or little sister, or little brother. Hey, some of you have pretty tricky little sisters and little brothers. But I'm writing my name large. I'm hitting the bottom fold with my letters. And I'm trying to take up most of the space. I got a little bit of space over here by my H, so I'm going to do a little twirl. So fancy at the end of my H. That's how you spell my name, Rebecca. Okay, now I want to basically create this exact same lettering on the other side of my paper. And there's a couple ways I'm gonna show you how to do that, okay? The first way is kind of cool. It takes a little bit of time, but um, it's, it's pretty fun. So now that I have my letters, I'm satisfied with them. I'm happy with them. I'm gonna take my pencil again, and I'm just gonna draw a little bit harder. I'm gonna try to push as, hard as I can with this pencil. So I'm just tracing the same letters, but this time I'm really pushing, pushing my pencil. It's okay if it's not perfect. Just try your best. I'm really pushing the lead into the paper to make these letters dark. And you'll see why I'm doing that in just a second. So I'm pushing, pushing those letters really hard with my pencil. Okay. Now, this is kind of a tricky part, so pay attention. I'm going to open up my paper. There's my name. And basically, just so you know what I'm going to try to do, I want to do the exact same thing on this side, but I want it to be pretty exact, pretty symmetrical. So I'm going to unfold my paper and then fold it back. Watch this. Hot dog, but the opposite way. So now my name's on the inside. So I'll show you that again. It was like this. I unfolded and folded it back this way. So it's like I'm covering my name up. Now, the next step involves um, some kind of object where you can rub. You're going to be rubbing your name. Um, <coughs> if you have a Sharpie or something at home, it's a little windy out here. Woo! It, this can work. So I have a Sharpie. I can show you how to do it with a Sharpie. Also, I just found this random clip and it's kind of got a nice soft plastic side. This can work also. So if you have a Sharpie, you can just take your Sharpie and just rub it over your, um, your art. And I can kind of see actually through my art, but basically I just want to make sure I'm rubbing on the pencil lines that are already there. And I'll show you, it's pretty cool. I'm just kind of rubbing. And what is happening here, I can kind of tell you as I'm doing it, is I'm rubbing pretty hard and the pencil on the other side is going to be transferred to the other side of the paper. That means it's kind of, kind of like make a stamp. Um, you can also, like I said, use a different kind of object, something that's kind of soft like this. It doesn't really matter. As long as you are hitting the pencil, and let's just let's check it out. Let's see what's happening here on the inside here. Okay, so yeah, you can see where it's rubbing. You can see it's basically taking this and it's making like a shadow. Ooh, that looks kind of cool like that. It's like a shadow, right? It's like the opposite. <laughs> it's making my name symmetrical on the other side of the paper. Cool. Now I can see it good enough. If you can't, <coughs> close it back up and do some more rubbing, but I can see it pretty well. So this is one way to do this. Now I'm just going to trace <coughs> the lines harder. So I see the lines and <coughs> you can see that, <coughs> excuse me, that my lines are matching right here on this crease on the fold. They're coming right down to the other side they're touching the other letters. I'm just tracing them the best I can. Have fun with this project. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the 
results, what comes at the end is pretty exciting, I think. So I'm just going to be making a symmetrical piece of art with my name. And you know in class, I always encourage you to use your imagination. So I'm showing you one way to do this, but if you're like, oh my gosh, I have a new way of thinking about this, Miss Frills, please do so. So I basically just made a mirror image. So let's turn it this way and let's check it out. Whoa, already it's like a super cool piece of art. I can't even tell it's my name anymore. It's like super abstract. Um, you could stop here, but of course, you know, Miss Friels, I'm not going to stop here. I'm going to be fast forwarding this next part, this next piece, so you can see what you can do with this. I don't know about you, but I'm seeing some kind of creature, some kind of monster, some kind of insect. All right, let's go. you can do this symmetrical art project using symmetry is by using a window. So I'm just going to show you really quick. I went, I already did this, but I'm going to show you how I did it. So I wrote my name. I printed my name after I folded my paper, just like before, remember to draw on the fold. So the fold right is down or it's facing you when you draw and all my letters touch the line. They're pretty close together and I take up most of the space. I used pencil. I went over my letters a little bit uh, b darker because what you're going to do now is you're going to turn this around and put it up against the window. And the light from the window will help you see the other side of your letters, just like the light boxes in class. So I went ahead and traced the lines. This is my name. It's just backwards, so it's kind of weird. So I traced all my lines in pencil all the way to the very end. And then I open it up. And there is my piece of art, my symmetrical piece of art. And I can create something this way, or I can turn it around and create something this way. Just depends on what you see in your own art. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Remember to post on the Google Classroom if you can. And I'll see you next time. Bye.